In this video, we'll discuss the configuration management process. Software products, systems, or services are made up of baseline configuration items. Now, each of these items is identified, defined, and also formulated. The configuration management process creates the foundational identification scheme for configuration management which involves each element within the system having its own unique identifying number. So a big part of the configuration management process is identifying the scheme for the number that represents all these software elements. The configuration management process is made up of six process activities. The first one is process implementation. And then from there we move into configuration identification then configuration control, configuration status accounting, configuration evaluation, and then finally release management and delivery. Now let's take a look at each of these different activities in order. Process implementation is a major organizational activity and it does require formal strategic planning. So it should outline all the activities, procedures, and the schedule of configuration management. The output of this activity is the Strategic Configuration Management Process Lifecycle Plan, which involves a comprehensive, accurate, and well-documented plan. The next phase of the configuration management process is configuration identification. And this establishes the identification scheme to be used by all the software items within the baseline. Also in this phase, we compile our formal documentation. So that involves documentation for every software item and its associated version. Then we move into configuration control. Configuration control involves the managing of the changes. So we receive all the product repairs and change requests. The change requests are then reviewed by the con uh, configuration control board. And then we also ensure that we audit these changes. So an audit trail is established. And that audit trail, each entry will include why the change occurred and who authorized the change. The next phase is configuration status accounting and the accounting phase is responsible for tracking the status and the history of the controlled software and its baselines. The reporting element of this accounting phase covers any project changes, the software versions, and also any release attributes. We then move into configuration evaluation. Configuration evaluation is responsible for uh, evaluating and certifying the product's accuracy and functionality based off the statement of work. Then we have release management and delivery. So release management is formally controlled via library functions. Code and documentation master copies are maintained for the life of the product itself. Also, all safety and security related materials have to follow organizational policies as far as the handling, the storage, the packaging and delivering of those materials. In this video, we discuss the configuration management process.